Hi guys, welcome back to How To Tuesdays. Today, as you can tell from the title, um, it's how to do strip lashes, how to put strip lashes on, and I go very, very, very much in depth with this video. I show you like angles, tips, tricks, how to fix mistakes, how to angle things, recommendations, differences between lashes, which ones I'd recommend at the beginning, all of it. Like, I, 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 I think I've got it all. If I missed something, I'm very sorry about it, but I did try my best to explain it step by step. So sorry if this video is really long, but I do go in depth. For those beginners out there that really do need the help um, and want to improve with their makeup and want to improve with their fake lashes because they find it so difficult. I know I did at the very beginning when I started playing with makeup. It was so hard for me. Like I saw beauty gurus and everything. I remember like seeing the first beauty guru that I've like, you know, ever seen like for YouTube and everything. It was actually Shannon. The, um, her channel is like ShanXO. And I'm not even sure if that's how she said it, I don't think so. Um, but I started seeing her and she put fake lashes on so quickly and she did this and all of that. And I was like, oh my god, how does she do all of that? And like, I can't. So I started playing with more makeup, but I remember my first lashes were like the Revlon ones. And um, I struggled so much. I had like a flyaway, like the inner corner kept from flying. And it was a mess. But I tried, I practiced, I learned. And I've made this whole video throughout my experiences and what I can recommend and what is also affordable for you because I know at the beginning when you're starting with makeup you don't really necessarily invest in a, a lot of money into your makeup so without rambling onwards and just telling you that I really hope this helps please let's just go ahead and get started so what I like to do when I put strip lashes on is I'm going to show you with a completely new pair not the ones that I have pre-trimmed and I like that I use all the time I'm going to grab, um, I will link the name of this lash in the, like, all like, the number and everything in the description box down below. I, um, have them in this, like, lash case, um, because it's just easier to store. I have, like, a makeup travel bag, so that's my thing. Um, I know that they're by Ardell, so I'm just gonna kind of leave that for now. I'm not 100% sure what number or, like, what style they are. We've got the, uh, pardon my fingers, I know I need a manicure right now, <laughs> I just wanted to get this video filmed and I have like makeup everywhere, so. Um, we have the lash here, I am so white. <laughs> we have the strip lash here and you can tell like even from like the very like little tiny ends right here of like plastic that it's completely new, it's fresh, I just like you know pulled it out. Now when you're pulling out a lash from the case, like let's pretend my hand's the case. It's going to be glued mostly just by three points, if not by the whole thing. It just really depends. And what you want to do is kind of like safely from like the closest you can get to the band, which is this part of the lash, you're going to want to pull slightly, tug a little bit. Don't just tug the whole thing, otherwise you might break or damage or like, you know, misshape the lash. So just try to be very gentle with them so they'll last you a lot longer and they're not like single-use lashes you can reuse them if you really take care of them even the cheap ones so once you've pulled it off and, and you have it like this sometimes you'll have a little bit of glue residue you can't really really see because it it's transparent but there's a little chunk here and what I like to do just with my fingers obviously I don't have any long nails right now so it's a lot easier to just like pick at the band and what I do is I just use my two fingers here my index and my thumb and as, and as usual get as close as you can to the lash band and then just pick slightly pick at the glue that's just like you know to hold the lash in you don't want that on your eye it's just going to become bulkier and it's just it's, it's just not gonna work. so um i've got these ends and i've got to trim the lash sometimes the lashes are you actually have to kind of like you know trial and error try some lashes and see which ones work for you because some people have like really big eyes and like some they struggle with lashes sometimes they're way too short and that's the worst thing that could happen to you you always want them to be a bit bigger so you could just trim them just in case it's easier to trim you can't add i mean you could try to make it work by adding individual lashes but that's a lot more complicated i'm just trying to teach you like the basics and a strip lash would be the easiest now i remember when i started with strip lashes i had no idea what i was doing <laughs> it was so funny so what i like to do first is i grab my non-sharp tweezers now these aren't sharp at all like they don't have any sharpness or anything yes this is a sharp tool so be very careful um ab about like having it around your eye you gotta be like you know kind of like you know safe and like with yourself and confident that you're not gonna put your eye out 
but there are certain tools, lash applicators that come like in the shape of your eye, like lash band, and you just press them and you can put them on your eye. I've used those at the beginning and they do help a lot. I don't have one with me right now to show you. I'll insert an image right now. And um, they really help um, at the very beginning so you don't poke your eye or anything. But I prefer, now that I've like, you know, had, had experience, I prefer non-sharp like tweezers because they won't like, I can't, I can't like, you know, pluck any hairs from my eyebrows with this because it's not sharp at all. It won't grip a hair to pull it. Um, and that's why I like it. And I know I'm just swinging around a sharp thing around my eye. Trust me, they're not sharp. They're like very much blunt. So, um, and that's how I bought them. I think I got these at Boots, I believe. And they're like Boots on brand. So I'll, I'll search it and I'll link it down below. Everything that I'm using today, I'll link it down below. <laughs> so what I like to do first is I grab my tweezers and then I, I'm going to put it to the side so you kind of see. Um, I kind of grab them as close as to the lash line again and this is just so you kind of get used to how you hold the lashes so you have like more um, grip onto them and they're not like flimsy and flying around everywhere and falling so make sure you have a tight grip on this don't let go don't soften this because otherwise it's just gonna like you know fall down when if you're moving around it's gonna fall down so now what I'm going to do is um, grab my obviously my right lash now with the strip lashes at the beginning or some of them have left and right on them I'm pretty sure eye lore um, lashes have that but most of them don't really they just have like which white which eye is which most of the time you can tell because the inner corner will always be shorter compared to the outer corner yes it's happened to me before that I've put it the, the other way around and I've seen like it looks a bit funny but you can't really tell unless like you unless it's like tiny and then the end is like that big so yeah You'll be fine most of the time, and I'm pretty sure at the beginning you're going to want a light lash and not super heavy, not super like, you know, thick and dramatic to start with so you know what to do. Now, a way you can tell is also like, um, obviously you can see them that they're like less like voluminous and full, but another way that you can tell is also quite a light lash is if it has a clear lash band. This, this Ardell lash has a clear lash band. And that really helps because they don't need a double band for like security to hold all of the lashes so you know that's like kind of like a given that it's going to be a lot lighter on your eye if you're worried about like if it's heavy getting used to it because obviously it's gonna be a new and uncomfortable feeling at the beginning but just like everything you'll get used to it in no time just, just practice 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 trial and error and which one you like and don't like so I hope you can see this but the bottom ones have a darker lash band and the top ones are the ones that we're using today. You can see the difference with how voluminous they are and they are going to be heavier and a little bit harder to apply and to like, you know, make sure the corners stick. So like I said, I really recommend that you use um, a clear lash band lash at the beginning. These are fuller, there, there are some that are like less full than these, but this is like kind of like a lighter style I personally go for um, because I'm used to them and I wear lashes. If I put makeup on, I generally wear lashes or I have lash extensions because I have, like you can see, tiny eyelashes. And if I wear something dark, you can't see it. I mean, I'm wearing orange so you can see my lashes. So Now that we have the lash like this um, and we're securing it, we're not letting it go. Make sure at the beginning it might be a little bit difficult to like remember because it's happened to me. And still to this day, sometimes I let it go and I'm like, what are you doing? Um, but right now we don't have any lash glue, so there's no danger. So... The next thing that you want to do is just measure. I'm going to measure um, the lash band length to see how much I need to trim. So I'm just going to place it on top and I'm going to leave it there for a second. Try not to blink too much. It's going to be a little bit difficult because I blink a lot. Um, so what you want to do is kind of more or less, I'm trying to tilt my head back so it doesn't fall that much when I blink, kind of more or less Put the lash where you would think that it would match around your inner corner. Now, don't put the inner corner all the way in. Like, for example, the first lash hair, I wouldn't put it all the way in because when I blink or when I close my eye, that's when it would poke my inner corner. So I would recommend don't pull it all the way in. Make sure you leave, like, a few lashes. So I would leave, for example, um, I would leave this bit right here. Let me just get even closer so you see what I mean. As I was saying, you put it around the center more or less, and then you would see where you would put the inner corner. So I would skip like a lash set from my own and then apply it so it wouldn't hurt my eye. 
and then towards the end this is where you want to trim it you always trim it from the outside never from the inside like you never remo remove actual lashes I will show you so um, again we're gonna try to place it as close as we can and then see how much is left so now if you see and like I'm gonna do it even closer if you see there's this bit right here a little tiny bit that's way too long for my eye I have small eyes this would fit like a normal eye but I have quite small eyes so I always have to trim my lashes we are going to check so you see this last corner I would say about this much I'm trying to grab it but it's a bit difficult sometimes so about this much is what we don't need now the reason we always trim from the outside is because like I said most lashes you'll be able to tell the shorter inner corner will be shorter a lot shorter compared to the outside so if we trim this it's just gonna look weird because the, how, the way our eyelashes start and grow naturally they short they sh they grow from short to long naturally some people have longer eyelashes in the middle some at the very end but you never have a like long and then short eyelashes that never happens now what i used to trim it are nail scissors now i have straight nail scissors but i do actually prefer the curved nail scissors i also have those and the reason I do that is because if you look at your eye naturally, you you have like a curve, right? So when I use the curved lash, um, when I use the curved nail scissors, um, usually they're curved like towards the inside, so they would be pointing like that. What I do is that I just generally just have to cut, and it will have like you know that curved band um, on the inner corner and outer corner. I turn them accordingly, so. Um, yeah, I would recommend those and it's just a lot easier. So like I said, I only need to trim a tiny, tiny bit. Now I recommend that if you don't really remember how much you have to trim, measure again and see more or less how much and trim less than that. So just in case, um, it's still a bit too long, you can cut more. But if you cut all the way like back and they're actually too small, like I said, it's just going to be a mess. It's going to look weird and they're just not going to work anymore. So be careful and be mindful of that. So what we're going to do is, like I said, I know more or less that it's like this much. It's a little tiny bit. Do you see? Do you see how much I have to trim? My eyes are tiny, so I have to trim a little bit more. So I'm going to trim less of that. And I'm just literally grabbing it and cutting. And that's it. That's all you have to do. The end is over here. You can barely even see it. The end is here. The lash is here. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my tweezers again, same same way, hold them as close to the lash band but not on the lash band. And then um, we're going to try to place them again and see if they fit. Now, oops, okay, see, that happened. Now I think they're good now. Sometimes I do have to trim them a little bit more but I think that's more or less alright. Um, what you do see at, at the inner corner is that there's a little bit end of plastic. Um, I don't know if you can see the end right there, but there's a little bit end of plastic right here um, that we don't need. And, and it'll poke us in the eye. So what I do is I, you're not supposed to trim the inner corner of lashes ever, except when this extra bit of plastic is at the beginning, the inner corner. So what I do is I literally, you're not going to be able to see it because it's transparent, I mean I don't know, but what I like to do is just as the same way, just really really just the very tip of the nail scissors, just grab them and just cut the very beginning of the lash band. Just going to grab them closer so I have more control, like I've been doing two fingers and just trimming, I'm doing it really high up so you can see, but usually I do it like really close to the table just in case there we go so now so this is the new trimmed lash band it doesn't have any more plastic ends sticking out and it's my size i do recommend that you do the same process all over again on the other eye because sometimes we have one eye larger than the other and it's not even sometimes most of the time we do we aren't 100 percent symmetrical they're like th 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 we're not perfect so there's usually one eye even if it's by a very tiny nanometer or like a millimeter you don't really notice sometimes it's more visible to the eye and you can't notice something bigger than the other like um, normal so I'm just gonna measure them again and around um, you can use your fingers too to measure them like this 
grab them at the end and then just place them on top where you would think you put it and more or less the same i think i have this eye bigger than the other one so i need to trim less but generally that's the case for me so once again i'm just showing you with my fingers this time how i would do it if you don't have the eyelash tool or the tweezers are you too scared to use the tweezers Okay, so now we've got both of our eyelashes, they're ready to be um, glued on, well we gotta put the glue on first, but yeah, they're ready to go on our eyes. So, now I'm gonna teach you glue, um, lash glue. There are so many brands of lash glue that you could use, um, some are more expensive than others, some are more affordable. Um, generally, what people like to use and the most common glue, if you search for like lash glue or something like that, would be the duo glues. And I have them right here. It would be the duo glues. I believe there's like even another one in tube and then there's like, you know, the squeezy ones. Now these glues are all different and I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, there are glues that are transparent so they will dry on your eye, on your lid and you won't be able to see them. They're completely transparent. Um, they do have a ha kind of a tint when you apply them on the lash at first. Um, this one has kind of like a bluish tint, but it will dry down transparent. These two, on the other hand, as you can tell from the packaging, they are different, but they're both dark. They're black, um, and they are black glues, um, eyelash glues. They're two different ones. These are two different lash glues, and they do different things. Now, you can pick, you can buy one, you can buy a transparent one at first, and you can just try it with that. I feel like it would be a lot easier for you so just go for this one um okay <laughs> just go for this one because you could use it for like light and dark looks like even on black eyeliner it would dry transparent and you'll be fine if you accidentally get some on your eyeshadow you won't be able to see it like i mean it might be a little bit uncomfortable and you shouldn't really get it on your eye but generally i would recommend this for the beginners I used one of these at the beginning. I've used this one for years, this brand for years, and I really like it. It's very affordable. You can find it in a lot of places. You can find it here in Mexico, which is a good thing. I bought these two. Um, no, I believe it was just this one. Um, I bought this one in Sally Beauty, Mexico. Yeah, you can find the, um, these here. And oh yeah, I bought these two here in Mexico. This one's all the way from the UK, so I haven't finished it. Another reason why I really recommend um, getting a clear one, a transparent one, is that if you want to stick like, um, maybe like some nail art accessory type of thing to create a weird extravagant look for like a Halloween thing, if you want to do that, then you can stick some like on your face and you'll be fine. So you can use this glue and it'll be easy to stick like, I don't know, Swarovski's or like I did um, my recent butterfly look. This is the glue that I used. So um, yeah, whenever I stick stuff to my face, I usually use this. These two, as I was going into their dark, they dry on black. Um, they have kind of like a maybe like a purpley tint as well just so you see it on the lash band and you see it when you're applying, but it dries completely black. The difference between these two though is that um, this is a brush on, this orange one, is a brush on adhesive with vitamins. Um, like I said, it's dark and um, it's an actual brush. This one on the other hand, it's a quick set strip lash adhesive, dark tone, doesn't have vitamins, and it comes kind of with like a dofa spatula like applicator i don't like this one because of it but i just wanted to show you there are different ones so you've got to keep an eye out um i don't recommend this um purple one because it's hard to work with like if you can see i'm just trying not to see like it's like um can you see? so yeah i wouldn't recommend this one but i just wanted to show you these two are the ones i recommend i'll link these two in the description box but yeah these are really good i will use one on each eye so you see <laughs> for educational purposes, how each will look like throughout the process on with the gluing. So first eye, I'm going to grab the tweezers and I'm going to use a clear one on this eye, the right eye. This is the right eye. So I'm going to grab the tweezers because it's easier for me like this. And now I will show you, my face is starting to hurt from talking. I'm so sorry if I start to like look weird, but my cheeks hurt. What I'm gonna do is that uh, usually it's a bit difficult to, you know, like put places everywhere, but what I like to do is I just like to multitask and I put the lash here um, and I'm holding it from at the top, not even the bottom grippy part, like the top. Um, so I make sure that it doesn't go and then on the other finger I have this. So what I like to do 
is I just make sure that I have the lash glue here and I'm going to try to show you in the easiest way possible um but okay I need more so I just start brushing it on now the reason I also recommend these um the brush on ones is because it's easy to brush on than to just like you know apply it somewhere or have like a massive glue bubble fall on your lash and ruin them so it's just easier you have more control you can see it's like um white purplish type of thing and i just lightly i don't grab too much um i i rather go in more than um apply way too much at once i do sometimes go with the tube and i, I just apply a little bit more on the end now once you've given it like one light coat here um it doesn't dry too quickly but it dries quite quickly so you don't have to wait millennia um what i like to do is i put a little tiny bit more glue in the center and the outer corners especially like the inner and outer corner of the lash like i like to put quite like a bubble there um i did get a little bit of the glue onto the um lashes it's it's fine, we'll be fine. It's very close to lash band that don't, don't panic, it, it'll be fine. So, um, the reason I do do these dots is because uh, by this time I'll be either like going like this or blowing it so it's quicker. I mean, it's my eyes on a client, I would never ever blow on it because that's like my spit and so I like that's just disgusting. Um, but this is this is my lashes, this is my eyes, these aren't my eyelashes, so I don't care. Um, but like I said, the reason I put them on three points is because when we apply the eyelash, we apply on the center first because that's where we want it to have most the most grip and balance and that's where we want it to stay. Because um, we don't want it to fall off the middle, like it's just, it'll fling off, so. We don't want to blow too much because it will get way too tacky. We have to wait until it gets tacky. We can't just apply them straight away. That's why I'm blowing. I forgot to explain. But you'll know that it's starting to dry because it'll start to go clear and it won't look as purple. So that's how you know it's starting to dry on this one. So what I'm going to do now is grab my mirror. And how I'm going to show you is I do this and I kind of angle my head back. Angle this downwards like that. And then I apply it from the center at the beginning, just on my lash um, line, not on my actual lashes, just on the line, the skin on top, so the eyelid right there. And that's how we have it on at first. You can see like it's still the inner and outer corner aren't stuck down. And now what you want to do first is go from the outer corner and then secure the inner corner. You don't want to stick, go from like center inner outer and you don't want to go like I generally don't go in any other order because um, if I do then it, the lash is more likely to fall off or to like you know have a flyaway or something so because I'm talking way to dry and securing the middle and trying to make sure that that bit is secure that's why I add those other bubbles to make sure that by the time I'm done doing one end the other one is still there and it's not completely dry because if it completely dries down then you, you're gonna have to reapply the glue and it's a little bit more complicated it might happen to me right now because i'm talking a lot but here we go we're gonna grab the lash sometimes it sticks to the lashes it's okay it's fine so we're gonna secure it secure that middle one and i'm grabbing just the lashes not my actual lashes the fake lashes now i do close the eye and then i push it to make sure that um i don't have any gaps when i close my eye because then it just looks weird and funky just make sure you do that you have to go up down make sure like it looks nice and then the inner corner i grab my arm and the tweezers like and then i secure the inner corner i keep my eye open and then i blink and i make sure it's secured so i close my eye again and then push everywhere to make sure it's all secure okay so now that we have the lash like this you can still see a tiny gap between my lashes and the um, fake lash band this is why i generally like the the dark one because then when you do that you won't you wouldn't really see it so you, there's no need to like clump them together that much but i still do it anyway so now that the lash is all there and um look it's like sticking out a little bit like if i do this this is how i check if it's completely glued and secure the outer corner is but the inner corner isn't like i said sometimes we talk we let it dry too quickly and then it's a little bit more complicated but i kind of did this intentionally so you would see what happened and how i fixed this. 
So I grabbed the glue again, and now this time I actually put the glue on the table. Be careful you don't knock it over because you don't want it to go everywhere. It's glue at the end of the day, so. Now what I do, this is a bit tricky, but I'm showing you how to fix a mistake. Um, so I flip the fake lash down like this, and you can see that the inner corner is flying a little bit higher. So what I like to do is I flick it and then I press it kind of like onto my skin. And then, however I can, sometimes I don't get it right the first try, I try to apply the glue on the lash band. This is very difficult sometimes. So if you get anywhere that you don't want it, just, you know, kind of rub at it quickly so it doesn't dry down and then you can just move on. So now you got to wait a little bit for it to dry again. You can't stick it down immediately because it's just going to come back out. You need to wait for it to get tacky. So wait for it to start going. You can see it right there from blue. Oh, it touched my skin. From blue, I need it to go a little bit like clearer. Now it's looking like it's drying down. Perfect. I grab my tweezers again and then take two. I'm gonna grab it and make sure that we secure it properly this time. The inner corner is the hardest part to get right because it's just, it's sometimes it's a biat. So you gotta practice, you gotta kind of get a feel of where you're going. You can also use your fingers like this and make sure you press it. I do that too, but for the inner corner, I prefer using tweezer because it's just a lot easier to get in there so now it's all glued down it's all dried down we can't see anything what i like to do is i like i grab the tweezers and this i actually do grab the tweezers for this or my eyelash curler i prefer you using tweezers or the i i um fake lash um applicator or well, each is a lot better for this um but what i like to do now is clamp them because i still have like this kind of like gap you can see so i don't like that now what we're going to do is i am going to open my eyes as much as i can as wide as i can be very careful. I would recommend a lash applicator for this. You could do it with your fingers, but it's not going to work as well. And I go from each, like, kind of lash set, segment of my own lashes, and clump the fake lash together with my regular lashes, my natural lashes. And I do this going in from the side, not like that. So I have more control and I don't poke my eye out. So now, next lash, I'm going to use the dark adhesive. Now, same thing, I grab it, sometimes you can do this and you have to actually put it down and open it because sometimes you get a little bit of glue on the edge, so just be careful before you actually lay them down or anything, make sure they're fully closed upright because otherwise you're never going to be able to open them. Once again, I'm going to grab the lash like that, glue, take it, and now I'm turning again so you see the color of this one. It looks black, but it has a purplish hue. I don't know if you can tell. You can tell in the wand. Compared to the cap, you can see it has a purplish hue. So that's how you know it's very much wet and it hasn't dried. I feel like the darker one dries a little bit quicker. And as it gets older, the lash glue, I mean, as it gets older, it does dry quicker. So fresh new lash glue, there's nothing like it, but um, it does take a little bit longer. I'll be careful because you can get it. Like on your fingers, on your skin, on your eyelid, on the eyeshadow. This is a little bit more complicated to handle. So just be a lot more careful with this one. Okay, I think that's good enough now. So, I do the same thing. Angle my head back. Angle this down. I'm trying to do it like from the side profile now so you see a little bit better. And then, again, center of the lid. And I make sure I... Grab the end of the lash line, push, and then inner corner, and then down and press. I'm going to do the inner corner again, it's a little bit wet. Now that this has dried, um, I can look down here and at the beginning, at the very inner corner, I don't know if you can see, 
I got a little bit of glue on the top. Now, usually I don't mind because my eyelashes will just like, you know, look like this and you won't be able to see it unless like I truly like go like that. But if this does happen to you with the dark glue, you can use your eyeliner, whether it's liquid gel or felt. With lashes, fake lashes, I prefer using a felt liner, like, you know, the pen ones to go on top because it's a lot easier to handle. You don't have like a whole like tube handle like this, like this bit right here, This that's the brush tip, oh, I'm not even showing you. Um, that's like the handle here, like the tube bit, and that's the actual brush. Sometimes this hits the lashes and then you get it everywhere, so it's a bit messy. That's why I prefer for like going on top of the lashes, the fake lashes. I prefer a felt one. I had one. I have no idea where it is. I've looked for it everywhere in this room. I don't know where it is. Gerfeld has a, like a sticker, an eyeliner sticker, and on the other end it had the felt tip thing. It was by Model Co. and I'm pretty sure, no, it was limited edition and now I can't, I can't use it. I can't find it. So last but not least, I'm going to show you how to do this if you do have a liquid liner. If you have gel and you have a brush, that's easier too, um, but I kind of prefer liquid liner or the felt liner on top compared to the gel. So what I do is the same thing that I did before when the eyeliner, when the glue dried, I'm going to flip, I have my um, thingy between two fingers. What I do is I flip it down a little bit, see where I want to put the liner, and then I grab my thingy like a pencil again use my finger and kind of just go over it see because I mess up too when especially when I blink so it's normal don't worry you can mess up that's what I like to do in case I got some of the tube eyeliner I just go like this I run it over I didn't get any luckily but that's what I like to do I'm gonna do the same on the other eye just to even it out even though it's clear and there we have it that is how to apply fake eyelashes i'm sorry if this video was super super long um but i wanted to do it very in depth step by step angle by angle and what to do and just in case you messed up like i did like i don't mess up this much but hey -ho. it's a good thing for the video so you see how to fix mistakes especially at the beginning you are gonna make mistakes it's just about practice and you will perfect it don't worry um, you do feel sometimes that it's like a bit like you have a weight on your eyelash, but you'll get used to it and then you start going for like more volume, voluminous, heavier lashes if you wish. If you like to stick to lighter ones, then go ahead. Um, but yeah, this is this is the end of the video. I'm not going to ramble too long because it's already super long. So stay slurry. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you do learn something from it and you actually managed to do it and you tried it or you use the video as a like, you know, do it along with me um, type of thing, then please let me know in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you do like this video and how I explained things. I tried to explain it the best I could. Did my very best, so I hope I could help um, those a uh, few people out there that are looking how to like you know put the fake lashes on properly so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye